Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I thought I would um, do a day in a life and show you how we go about doing our school days. Typical family, you know, you we get up in the morning, we get our breakfast done, um, the kids have a chore that they do in the morning, usual routine, um, get dressed, have breakfast, make your bed, um, you know, brush your teeth. It's just very simple and very basic. Um, and then we have uh, our breakfast, simple meals so that we can get uh, school start uh, faster and easier. After we have our breakfast, we usually start our um, Bible reading and our um, reading baskets. And for this month, as I've mentioned in my prior video, uh, we are doing um, being of thanksgiving, uh, being grateful, a theme. So we've been doing that and that's been fun. So we do have our reading basket. And um, so we will start with our Bible reading. Um, and because the, the team this, this month is Thanksgiving, it's all scriptures based on being thankful. Um, being thanksgiving of something or someone or, you know, God and all that stuff. So we use that. And after that, the kids have to uh, write me one thing that they're grateful for and they put it in their thankful jar. When we're done doing that, we usually just um, get into our reading baskets. And for this time around, we are doing a I Survived uh, book. Sometimes we'll do the Flooded book. We just alternate between the two. So we've been doing that and it's been great. Um, we love the I Survived books. Uh, they're very educational and they're fun to read. So we've been doing those. Um, after we're done doing like our family, um, you know, thing together here, like with all the children and myself, that's where we um, separate and my oldest will go do his math. And then I do uh, the core subject with the two youngest, which is usually uh, math and English. And I let them choose. Sometimes we'll start with English. Sometimes we start with math. Sometimes they're not the same, um, depending on the child. I'll let them decide that. So that's what we do um, separately. Um, and of course, my oldest have his own uh, language arts that he's doing um, because he's technically in high school. So it takes longer for him. Like he has more subjects to do compared to my two youngest one. Um, so he will, he's, he work independently and he works well. Uh, he does what he's supposed to and he's a good learner, um, a good student. So he will do his core subject on his own. I usually, after the end of the day, check up on him just to see what he has done and see what he's, um, maybe if he need help with something. And if he has a question, he always comes by and asks me. And of course, science. Um, science is an old, another ball game. My oldest will do his own science on his own as well. Um, sometimes I'll sit down and read with him in his, in his elective choices for his high school grades also. Uh, my youngest one, I do, we are working on a unit study, uh, the Creepy Crawlies. Uh, we are doing that and I'm alternating that one with understanding God's world. So um, one, um, two days a week, we'll do the Creepy Crawlies. And then two days, the other two days, we'll do understanding God's world. And it's good because they both bring different uh, perspective on science and we like to do it. I have, they have their own journal when it comes with the unit study, which is wonderful. And the other one, I made them um, their own little uh, book that they have questions to answer and stuff like that. And it's mostly just me sitting down with my two youngest in the living room um, reading to them, asking them questions just to see if they understood, uh, what we were talking about. And it's, um, they say their opinions, they share their thoughts with me and it's been doing good. So alternating that is, uh, very good. So we've been enjoying the school year so far, even though we had a few bumps on the road with the sickness and all that, it's, it's going fairly good. 
Uh, we're trying to keep ahead because, well, you all know Christmas is coming and I am looking forward to have some time off with my kids. Um, I will have a vlog on that of what we plan on doing during that time. So that's coming up. If it's something that uh, is interesting to you, please just um, subscribe. That way you will know when my vlog comes next and you'll know what our plan is for the Christmas holidays, what we plan on doing for that for school. Um, so our day to day life, a typical homeschool day is pretty uh, simple and straightforward. We um, get ready in the morning, do our um, reading basket and Bible together. Then we separate into core subjects. And um, after that, if there is a unit study that we do all together, that would be at the end of the day. And also after school is done, my kids have uh, independent reading time. That's the book that they chose themselves. Uh, when we went to chapters, we looked through that and they had picked their own books that they wanted to read independently and they have to read that for a certain amount of time. And you know, after that, it, it's chores time. Uh, if there's any laundry to do, um, if there's any helping mommy setting the table, cleaning up, uh, putting stuff away, the bathroom, all that, we all have, we are family. So we work together as a team and we make it done. We have it cleaned um, and it's not um, like we don't do all these chores on the same day. They are um, separate. So they have at least one big chore to do a day and that works well. And after that, it's their own free time. If we want to go outside for another walk, if they want to go play outside, um, if they want to uh, watch something like a cartoon. Um, I don't mind them doing that, although screen time for us is mostly after we're done supper, when everybody's washed and we're just all together as a family, we will sit down and pick something that we want to listen to. And sometimes, most of the time, um, we do uh, have a Devo together as a family and we'll um, sometimes my husband read fable stories to them. Uh, sometimes we just hang out, um, you know, it depends on the evening, but the TV is mostly when the day is completely done and we're all together and we pick something that we want to watch. So this is, this is our day in the school life and that's a regular day without any appointments, without any, you know, errands, crazy, super things that we need to do. That is just as simple as it gets. A homeschool, relaxing homeschool life. And I am so grateful that we are able to do that, that I am able to change the schedule whenever I feel it's necessary. I love that we can work around the schedule. If I have an appointment in the morning and I feel that we need to get school done, we can do it in the afternoon. And I know a lot of families at homeschool that starts later in the day and that's wonderful. We are more morning people, so our brain functions better in the morning, so we get up and we get at it and we get mostly the afternoon to do what's what needs to be done and then just relax and have a good uh, family time. So that's it. That's all I wanted to share with you guys. I thought that you might want to know how our family function, uh, how we do school and things like that. So on that note, guys, I wish you a wonderful day.